Here they are, these are the claws. These are how the blades come out of my fingers. If I pull on this trigger right here, it sends a message to all the people who said they were just butter knives and not a mechanism. It's all powered by rubber bands because I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. You can see the basic locking mechanism for the blade here. When it's at the back, this little spring keeps it from moving out, but when you pull up on the trigger, it allows the blade to slide all the way out. And when you add the rubber band to it, you can see how it retracts. It pulls on the blade and then it releases the spring. And the same goes for pulling the blades out. The whole device is basically three custom switch blades, as I'll show here. I started with a model that I got off of Thingiverse for a switchblade, and then I added the splay angle for my fingers, and made them much longer and added bolt holes. It's all modeled in Fusion 360, as you can see here. You can see the splay angle for the fingers. Here's the two bolt holes that hold it all together, and the area for the wrist strap. And here's the holes for the nuts. Everything here is modeled almost perfectly in Fusion 360, but when you make it in the real world, it adds a lot of problems. While you watch me assemble this, I'll take some time to address a lot of questions. I didn't actually take five years to make this, it was just five years difference. I was trying to show my skill difference between the two. I think the first version of the claws took me about a day to make, and this version, because how long 3D printing takes, took me about three days. I really appreciate everybody who took the time to say nice things. Uh, it means a lot. If you're taking time to say nice things in the comments, you're a cool person. If you mean at a university, no, no, I do not study engineering. But if you mean just in life, yes, I study engineering basically every day because that's what I love. And this might be one of the best questions that was asked, probably because I didn't even ask myself before I made it. And a lot of the force actually just kind of dissipates into the blade. And so you don't get a lot of pushing force with it because there's no backing to it. You can stab things, but you can't stab things as well as my old version could. That version could just go through everything. Also, I'd like to point out how terrible having three blades is as opposed to just one, because in this version and in the last one, using one blade is totally fine to cut everything, but when you add two more, the resistance is just way too much. But the coolness factor outweighs everything, so who cares?